Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be all about my favorite Real Techniques brushes. I've been doing a lot of videos all about my favorite affordable makeup products and my favorite drugstore makeup products. And I think that I tend to forget about makeup tools like brushes. And a lot of you have been asking about my favorites. So I wanted to do one all about affordable brushes. I did a video on my favorite Elf Cosmetics brushes. So I will link that in the description box below if you guys do want to check it out. But another one of my favorite drugstore brush brands is definitely real techniques I feel like they make so many good quality brushes and I have so many favorites so I tried to narrow it down to my top 10 and I thought I would share them with you guys so I have two foundation brush favorites the first is their buffing brush this is a great option if you really like to buff the foundation onto your skin obviously but I feel like I'm more of a stippler but some people really like to buff it onto their skin to get a nice even application especially if you want your foundation to kind of look like skin this is a great option so I like to apply my foundation onto my face and really kind of work it into the skin with this brush. This brush is perfect because it is dense but it's also soft at the same time so you're going to get a really beautiful airbrushed application and it makes your foundation just go on beautifully and I cannot get enough of it. Another great option is their Expert Face Brush. I feel like this is an older brush and it is absolutely amazing if you are a stippler. Now I am a huge fan of stippling my foundation onto my skin because I do have acne scarring and dark spots and my skin just kind of needs a lot of extra coverage. I like to apply a concealer before I apply a foundation and this brush is great for stippling the foundation on top because it won't buff away any of that concealer underneath. The bristles are a little bit more dense so it's not going to move around the face as much so it's not really going to give you that necessarily like flawless application. It's really going to give you a super full coverage look. I mean you could totally use this one to buff the foundation into the skin as well but I feel like it's going to give you a little bit lighter coverage because the brushes are so dense. It's going to almost buff the foundation away if that makes sense. So if you are a fan of stippling your foundation definitely try the Expert Face Brush. If you are a fan of buffing your foundation then pick up the buffing brush for sure. I also love the powder brush. This is great for applying loose translucent powders or powder foundations or just if you want to blend out your contour. It's just a great all-around option. It is a large fluffy brush but it's not overly fluffy. You do still get a nice precise application if you are like applying bronzer onto your cheekbones but I love this one because it picks up the powder nicely and just distributes it really evenly onto your skin. I used it today to apply a translucent setting powder and I feel like it gives you a good amount of coverage but not anything too crazy. It doesn't pack the powder onto your skin but it just flawlessly goes over your entire face so every area is covered. I also like to use it for bronzer if I want just a really kind of blown out airbrushed effect when it comes to my bronzer. If I don't want a precise application I'll use this to kind of buff bronzer all over my skin, give me a little extra warmth so it's just a great option and I really like it. When it comes to actually contouring, I am a huge fan of their Bold Metals brush. This is the number 100. I can't remember the exact name, but I'll put it on the screen. The Bold Metals brushes are a little bit more expensive than the regular brushes, but I feel like some of them are just absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend this one if you are big into contouring. I feel like it fits so nicely in the hollows of your cheek, and the brush itself just blends the powder out so, so beautifully. You're not going to get any harsh lines or streaky contour with this brush. It blends it beautifully and I cannot get enough of it. I feel like this one is totally worth the money. Another brush from the Bold Metals line that I really like is the number 203. I feel like it's the tapered crease brush but I might be wrong. I'll put it on the screen again. But I love this one for the crease. This is my go-to crease brush. It just blends the color so beautifully and I feel like it is the perfect shape if you want a nice blended effect but you still want a good amount of crease color. It's not going to blend it away. It's not going to get it all over your eye. You do get a precise application but it also blends it in so you don't have any harsh lines. I have a few of these because they are just my favorite go-to crease brushes so I definitely recommend this one as well. If you guys have any favorites from the Bold Metals line make sure you let me know in the comments below so I can check them out. I really like their shading brush for packing color onto the lid. This is a great option if you want to use it with a cream shadow or like a ColourPop shadow because it really does pick up a bunch of the product and it looks so beautiful once you apply it because it gives you a nice dense even application but even if you just use it with powder shadows I think it's a great option. I love that it's a little bit on the smaller side so you can get a nice really precise application and I use it almost every single day. Again I have a bunch of these in my collection and if you're just looking for 
like a go-to eyeshadow brush for all over the lid, this is a great option. You can also use it to kind of buff color onto the lower lash line because it is on the smaller side. And it has a nice, like, fluffy application so you get a really blended out appearance. I just recently tried their blush brush and I have to say it is one of my favorites. I've been using the same blush brush for like the past five years and I haven't found another one that works really well for me until I tried this one. I like this one because it gives you a really soft blush application. So it gives you a beautifully blended out appearance. I feel like all of their brushes do that in general. But when it comes to blush, I definitely don't want anything harsh. So it gives me a nice subtle glow, but not anything too intense. And I just, I love the shape of this. I feel like it fits perfectly over the cheekbones and it just blends beautifully. I feel like this would work really well as a bronzer brush as well, but I cannot stop using it for my blush. I just, I'm so happy I found this because my other blush brush is kind of like nearing its end since I've used it every day for like five years. So this is my absolute favorite of the moment. If you are a fan of a really precise contour, their contour brush is perfect for you, whether you like powder or cream contour. I like this one because it is on the smaller side, but it has a really nice dome shape, so it fits really nicely into the um, hollows of your cheeks, and it is completely different than this one. I like using this one for contour as well, but this is going to give you a really blended appearance, whereas their contour brush is going to give you a super precise application. So if you are looking for a very precise application, or if you have like a smaller face in general, this might be a better option for you because you can get it perfectly where you want it to go, whereas this one's going to give you more of a blended appearance. I think the contour brush is also really great for under eye setting powder or under eye concealer. It's just a good brush to have in your collection because you can get a lot of uses out of it. I also really like this setting brush. I've used this if I want like a super, super precise contour, so that's always a great option as well, but I like to use it as a highlight brush. I feel like the brush is the perfect shape for applying highlight right on the cheekbones. I also like to use it to kind of dust away any excess under eye setting powder if I use like the baking method. It's also great at blending under eye concealer. This one has so, so many uses and I cannot get enough of it, but I think my favorite is definitely highlight. I feel like it picks up the highlight beautifully and it blends it beautifully. You're not going to get a harsh line. It's just going to look so gorgeous on top of the cheekbones. And then my last brush is the Duo Fiber Contour Brush. And I actually use this for highlight as well. So so you could use it for contour, especially if you are a fan of cream contours. I feel like this would be a great option. But if I want even more of like a blended highlight, I would definitely use this one because the setting brush is a little bit smaller. So I feel like the Duo Fiber Contour Brush gives you more of like a blended appearance when it comes to highlighting. But again, this is great for contour, highlight, setting powder, just any use. So you can use it for multiple different things on your face. So I hope this video was helpful. I feel like I kind of rushed through it, but my computer is about to die. So I wanted to get you guys all the information before my camera and my computer die because they are both on low battery. But make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite Real Techniques brushes are so I can check them out if I haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.